Faith Ministry Church. It's time once again for another Hour of Power TV prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah. <laughs> Greetings, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another Hour of Power. This is TV prayer. My name is the Reverend Ed Cash. Cash money, y'all. And I'm Reverend Dr. Carl Pathos. And we're going to double team your faith today. Praise the Lord. That's right. We're going to reach down into your soul and get you in the mood. We're going to get you excited. We're going to make you feel good. I'm telling you, if all I had was a clock in my pants, it would be high noon right now. Well, I think you need to keep that time to yourself, Reverend. I knew that. No, today's lesson is about tithing. That's right. Now, I know we've talked about giving of 10% of your earnings. We talked about that last week and the week before. And we're going to keep talking about it till y'all get it right. We never get tired of that subject because the Lord says you must store up treasures in heaven and not on earth. That's right. That's why there's a hole in the ozone layer now. Because y'all being tardy with your payments. That's right. Now, some of you, some of you have been trying to skate by on 5 and 6%. Nice try, but you cannot fool the Lord. Now, I'm going to read off some names right now, and I want you to stand up when you hear your name. Raymond Gary. Up on your feet. Dorothy Bell. Rise and shine. Joe Wilson. Yo, Joe. Now, your checks have bounced. Get out. I rebuke you. Get out and take your fat wife with you. Go on. Get on out of here. That's a sin. That's an unforgivable sin. I can feel the sin in this room tonight. Uh, it is that temptation that would make a woman sell her body for upwards of $40, even though she wanted it as much as I did. <laughs> Reverend Pathos is trying to say is that we've all sinned. Not like me. Well, we ain't all freakazoids like you, but we've all sinned. You see, that's why you're here today. But that's okay, see, because the Lord forgives. Amen. He's forgiven me and will forgive you too. He does. That's what he I does. know because I've talked to the Lord. Amen. I've talked to him in tongues. He can That's right. That's the only way to get to the Lord. He don't answer if you just say, hey, Lord, you got to speak in a tongue. And this hold, man on, can hold, do on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a call right now. Oh, my goodness. It ain't been a little bit, no, no little bit of this video. No one else can be right out you. Hava, Nagila, Hava, Hava. Mama say, Mama say, Mama Kusa. And I'm back. And the Lord said to tell you how. Woo, I got the spirit. I feel like healing. Yes, and I have a candidate like right here, Reverend, sitting right in front of us. Come on up here, son. What is your affliction, brother? I, I, I can't move my leg. You can't move your leg. Well, let me get the spirit. Let me put my hand on it. I think I feel it. Oh, here it is. This is what's been holding you down. This wall has been holding you down, brother. You are healed. Get on out of here. Oh. Praise the Lord. The spirit has been lifted. <laughs> Now, you've seen the Lord in effect. You have seen it. You've witnessed the Lord's spirit. You were there. Now it's time to pay the Lord. Pay him all. Pay that man his money. Oh. Now, while I collect the offerings, Brother Pathos here will lead us in a song. Brother Pathos. I think I saw him on the hill the other day. I think I saw him when I watched the children play. But when I opened up my voice to sing in praise, he ran away, ran away, far away. My singing made sweet Jesus run away. I did not have to wait for judgment. Oh, one dollar. What's this? One dollar. No, no. We tried to do it the Lord's way. Now we're going to do it the good old 125th Street 7 Avenue way. Get up the money now. Pay the Lord. You wanted heaven now. Reach for it. Give, give me the money. Oh, give it up. Give it up. 
want shoes. I want shoes. No, you're different, brothers. Church of Discount Sin. I am the Reverend Ed Cage. And I am the Dr. Reverend Carl Pathos. And tonight we're going to set you free. Amen. We're going to loosen you up. Praise the Lord. We're going to let it all hang I out. I left my underwear at home tonight, brother. Well, maybe not hang out like that. Pardon me. We like to call ourselves the 595 Club. That's right, marked down from 700. <laughs> See, tonight our first special is a two-for-one sale on adultery. Hallelujah! Yes, indeed. So, if you are already in a sinful relationship, but you got your eye on somebody else, you can be forgiven for both of them for just $99.95. <laughs> Even less on our frequent center plan. Oh, yes, you'll save almost $5 per sin and the tenth sin is what? Free. That's free. And how wonderful it is to be free of sin, brother. Oh, praise the Lord. Free from the haunting feeling that you've stooped to the weakness of the flesh. Preach, brother. Preach on. You've driven to that remote motel and watched that woman do vile things with items from all four of the basic food groups. <laughs> you lost me there, brother. <laughs> It's time for our blue light special. Yes, indeed. Our feature sin for tonight is bigamy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go even further. I'm going to make it any sin beginning with the letter B. You can get discount rates right now on blasphemy, burglary, bribery. What about the big B? <laughs> Sounds like someone's been a bad boy. You shit me like that. Does your sin begin with the letter B? No. I was wondering when you were getting to the L's. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> it is written, if the right hand offended thee, then cut it off and cast it away. But of course here, for a mere donation of $29.95, you can just wash that away. I can smell the bargain! It's my wife. She's had affairs with the mailman, the bottled water man, the TV cable man, and the gas man. Well, it sounds like she needs a little personal counseling. Why don't you have her come by the studio and I can lay my healing hands on her? It's too late for that. I'm calling from death row. Sounds like you need some forgiveness in a hurt. And lucky for you, I can speak to the Lord right away in your behalf. And I will speak to him through tongues. You just hold on a minute. I got his 800 number. <laughs> Peter Piper picked a pepper, pickle pepper, pick a pepper. Peter Piper pick pick. Sounds like we got a bad connection, bro. I think so. I should try again. Seashell, she sells by the seashore with the seashell, seashell. Another bad connection. Let me try this one. Try the beeper number. <laughs> Don't read me by soul IT. Don't do my me by soul IT. And that bring us back to what? Dough, that's right. As, as in donation, let's see the tote board. Bring it down. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. Now that's pitiful. I know y'all done sent more than that. I done sent with half of you more than that in this room now. You know. My colleague, Oral Roberts, was told by the Lord to raise eight million dollars, or the Lord would take his life. Yes, he was. Now, Reverend Cash and myself find ourselves in a similar situation. Amen. See, now, you, you all the people that called in for the adultery special, you got to keep in mind, we still have the numbers to your spouses. See? So if y'all don't start calling, we're going to do some calling of our own. We're going to reach out and tell somebody. Yes, indeed. And feel the Lord working. Look at him. It's a miracle, brother. Yes, indeed. Brother Cole, kick us out with a song. Gladly. 
He'll rip my lips off and poke my eyes out and use my colon for double dutch. And then he'll take my hand and stuff it in the toilet. Come on, everyone! <laughs> Reverend, I don't believe a word you've said here today. And furthermore, your so-called church's fundraising methods are immoral, if not illegal. And I assure you, this Senate panel will not rest until we put every last one of you shysters in jail. Now, oh. you please call the next witnesses. You look too happy, huh? See you Sunday, Reverend. Boy, I feel love. The English. Remain standing and uh, hold up your right hand, please. Do you uh, solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? So help me, my God. <laughs> now let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Hallelujah for those who wear fig leaves uh, should not dance with hungry goats. <laughs> Amen. State your names for the records. My name is the Reverend Ed Kench. Dollar bills, no food stamps, please. And I'm the Reverend Dr. Carl Pathos, uh, this ministry's spiritual gynecologist. Now, would you uh, please tell us the name of your church? Uh, that would be the First Church of Discount Sin. Yes, Lord, as of now, we have six locations throughout the greater metropolitan area. The Lord is slashing prices and all sin must go. Just dial 1 800 sin a lot for the franchise nearest you. Uh, we even have a drive through window. Can I take your order, Reverend? Yes, I'd like some forgiveness, please. Would you like a hot apple pie with that? Duh. Yes, and I'll have a Moses McMuffin, too. Right <laughs> Gentlemen. Are you actually charging people a fee to forgive their sins? We prefer to call it a donation. Praise be, uh, for he who giveth shall be without sin for 90 days or your money back. Uh, I think somebody been sipping on the holy water. Reverend Cash, um, it says here that you don't earn a dime. How do you, um, how do you explain your extravagant lifestyle? Extravagant? You call this Rolex extravagant? This is the bottom of the line. No, you got it all wrong. See, what I do is operate a trust fund for the Lord. That's right, for the big guy. See, he's the one with all the money. That's right, he tell me what to do with it. If it was me, I'd have this. A couple of junk bonds I got my eye on, but what can I tell the Lord? If the Lord want to buy a big hat with a feather, then what am I supposed to say? No, Lord, you can't have it. The Lord seen sheriff. Stick it in and call it macaroni, that's what I'd say. And if he want a house, 300 square feet, what am I going to say? No, Lord, you can't have it on your earth? The Lord uses that jacuzzi in mysterious ways. <laughs> and it's time for the Lord to clean it out. Excuse me, uh, Reverend Pathos. Yes. How do you explain these expenditures? $200 to the Wild Weasel Dance Club. <laughs> well, one must know evil before he can condemn it. Uh, what about $400 to Rondell's strip o -gram? One must see evil before he can denounce it. And what about $900 to the Red Rooster Escort Service? <laughs> it is all around us, friends. Uh, and how are we not to be distracted when we know that somewhere, somehow, breasts are being augmented? <laughs> When I was a young man, I said to myself, Reverend Pathos, you will not be driven to wine, women, or sugary foods. And I could use AA and a good dentist right now. <laughs> Sinned against you. Uh, look, we also show expenditures here for a company jet. Now, how do you explain that? Well, see, that simply allows us to get to the higher power. That's right. See, the Lord don't always want to come down to you. You think you can just bow your head and he show up all the time? It's a lie. Well, sometimes he say, come on up to my place. That's right. <laughs> what, what about these taxes? You haven't paid any in seven years. Well, that... Oh, hold on. Huh? Hello? It's the Lord. <laughs> yes, Lord? Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I said. Who am I to say? Uh-huh. Ooh. 
I ain't never heard you speak like that, Lord. Well, I have to speak to him in tongues. He's very upset. It bit a little bit, no, no, but they won't listen to me. No, 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 can anyone explain what he is saying? He said he's speaking in tongues, and speaking in tongues... <laughs> I've been wanting to do that since I came in here! Cool my God, my Lord, cool my God. <laughs> Woo-wee, the Lord is upset. You have angered the Lord. Oh, no. And now I must say a prayer for you to, for forgiveness. Because the Lord boy. is pissed off. <laughs> Bow your head, please. <laughs> Lord, please forgive these senators for getting all in your business. <laughs> treating you like some common criminal and trying to make you look bad in front of all these people. Oh, yes. And Lord, we know that you don't like to go low, but you will if you have to. You will stoop. You can stoop just as low as them and show these hand pictures we have of the senator with these <laughs> different women. We have seen the light in the holy dark room, Lord. Lord, this ain't the only shot you got. Because you got all kinds of shot. I hope it ain't upside down. <laughs> Lord, please forgive them. Forgive and them, And let Lord. them know that the way through forgiveness is by giving. <laughs> Amen. Gentlemen, I think we have seen a miracle. And this miracle is forgiveness. Yes, yes, that's right. The Lord will extend his forgiveness. Yes, he will. But he ain't going to do it for free. No. <laughs> In order to be forgiven, you must go to the root of the word, which is give. Give for it. Give. Give again. Give it up. <laughs> Reverend Hayes, I think this deserves a song. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> you got to reach right out and... Love each other, never push or shove another Unless you're angered by something that they said And then feel free to kick them till they're dead